Hi, I'm Onisa Klein here at GBTA Convention 2021 at the Broadcast Studio. It's great to be here reconnecting with so many industry friends and colleagues. And here with me this afternoon is Jason Long, who came in from Madrid, Spain. Uh, Jason is the Senior Vice President for Business Development for HRS. Jason, welcome. Thank you. Isn't it great to be back in business again? It is. In person, right? In person, yeah. So much better. So much better than on over the computer, right? Yeah, too right, yeah. I didn't particularly like the long flight, though. 12 right. hours on a flight with a mask was pretty tough. But uh, anyway, we're here now, and it's great, I have to say. Great. Well, welcome. Thank you. So HRS has uh, turned its innovative creativity towards the industry's needs to be more carbon neutral. There's a lot of focus around that, obviously. Can you tell us more about your Green Stay initiative and how it is impacting corporate hospitality? Yeah, sure, good question. So first and foremost, what corporates want now is information about sustainability, carbon emissions, so they can make decisions about which hotels go in their programs. But traditionally, it's been very difficult to get that information from the hotel community. An independent hotel has a different story to a hotel chain, for example. So what we've done is we've created a platform that allows the hotels to put their information and certain metrics about waste, carbon and water, and then we normalize that. So as a, as a procurement specialist or even as a, a booker, you can equate one hotel against another in terms, of it, in terms of its carbon levels and emissions. So it creates a level playing field for the hotel community. So wow. we launched that about seven months ago. And uh, happy to say that the takeoff's been very good. Aco, uh, Aco Hotels, the French group, have shared their intent to, to subscribe to this Green State initiative. And I'm really happy to say that as from today, Marriott has also announced its plans to roll out this initiative with HRS at a global level. Excellent. Well, congratulations. That is exciting news yes, for you guys. Yes, it certainly is. Thank you. So in recent interviews, you've spoken about the unique solutions offered by the HRS platform. Can you expand a bit about why the platform-based technology solutions best serve global managed travel programs? Yeah, sure. Traditionally, managed travel has been, has been facilitated by a set of, uh, of technology companies and, and suppliers. It's been very fragmented and obviously very inefficient. So what we do in HRS is we bring everything together under one platform, end-to-end, -end, from procure to peer. So we're using the same technology base to help our clients negotiate their program, load those rates into a, into a system to be booked so they can search and book and reserve these hotels, and then finally also pay for these hotels as well off the one platform. And the real benefit of doing that is the data that we get from a procurement perspective and from a behavioral perspective in search and book, and also from a payment perspective, means we can use this data to optimize the entire end-to-end -end story. So my favorite example, if you like, if you permit me, would be if we see from our payment engine, when we grab, we grab the invoice from the hotel and we digitize that. If we see from that invoice, for example, that a corporate had a propensity to book parking that we never anticipated. So we see it from the data that we get, we can pass that data into the procurement engine, and then we can renegotiate with that hotel, either to get a better deal that includes parking, or even switch hotels to a hotel that has free parking, for example. And it's this optimized, self-optimizing platform that is really fueling the success of HRS. I liken it sometimes to Amazon. When you use Amazon, the more you use it, the, the better, if you like, the, um, the, the, the intelligence, the, yeah, the intelligence and, the, and, and what, what it's trying to sell you, right? And also from a supplier perspective, Amazon as a platform gives intelligence to the suppliers on pricing. If you drop by a certain level, you will get more, more sales. And in essence, that's what we're doing in the hotel community. We're brokering between the hotels and the corporates through a one-stop shop platform end-to-end. -end. It's very powerful. Wow, mm. that's so cool. It is. End to end, integrating all that data and leveraging it's data, it, right? You, right? It's, it's all based on yeah. data. Without the data, you can't make informed decisions. decisions. And one of the problems in the hospitality side of the industry is most corporates would take months, if ever, to get their hotel data because it's so fragmented and disparate. Right. In fact, most of the corporates that we deal with, roughly 
I would say roughly 50% of their hotel spend is not actually done through the managed channel. It's done outside. outside. Maverick, independent bookings, and it's a real nightmare to get this data. So by bringing everything into one platform, it means in real time we can make decisions. And that's, that's the whole yeah. philosophy behind HRS. Yeah. In real time data, I mean, that's heard, heard that a lot today, right? Especially post pandemic, people need real time information. They want access to real time information. So that's, that's fantastic. So HRS has always had its finger on the pulse of the hotel rates corp corporates, um, on the pulse of the hotel rates corporates are negotiating for the upcoming year. Given the unique environment coming out of the pandemic, we're just curious about rates and other realities corporate hotel programs are facing. What can you share about what you're seeing for 2022? Mm. Yeah, another good question. Yeah, first and foremost, you know, when, when corporates negotiate now, it's not just about the rate, right? right? We see you know, the, the market is shifting and the prices are coming back, right? So the, the, the corporates are always going to be interested in savings through better rates. But what we see with our clients is they're also asking for information about sustainability, going back to what we talked about before. They're asking about what are the hygiene measures of these hotels post-COVID. They're asking for different data sets that previously they, they, they didn't consider when making a decision on which hotels should be in their programs. You know, even things like diversity of, the, of the, the staff or the owners of a hotel you know, could come into the, the, the RFPs and the decision making process as well. So that's what we're seeing in HRS. It's about compliance. Compliance to standards, to sustainability, to, to health, safety. Maybe, as I mentioned, diversity and whatnot. It's not just about the rates. The rates are still important. Sure. Don't get me wrong. Sure. But it's not just about the rates. Right. It's the whole package and doing the right thing. Right. Yeah, by doing the right, right. thing doing as well. Right. And we're also seeing the, uh, the, 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 the corporates that we're working with are now considering more what they're doing on long stay and meetings and groups because typically most corporates are managing these areas through different entities within their company. The transient is managed by the travel team, right. meetings and groups through marketing, right. the long stay or relocation through H HR, often staying in the same hotels, certainly the same destinations. Now the question is, are corporates leveraging that? And what we're trying to do is help bring that together because we know they're not going to be spending as much as in 2022 and beyond because the travel has changed. Right. So right. what we're trying to do is aggregate more to keep their negotiation power high and quite often corporates are trading that, trading the savings for better quality. And we see that as well post, uh, post COVID. Wow. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, no, it, it, it's a lot going on and a lot of good stuff going on with, with HRS. So, so Jason, just to kind of summarize, you know, here we are at GBTA back two years later. Um, a lot of corporate buyers here and suppliers. Do you have any closing remarks that you'd like to make to, the, to this audience? Well, I'd just like to say welcome back. Uh, you know, if, uh, if anyone is like me, you'll probably appreciate being face to face. Yeah. You know, I've done a lot of meetings and trying to uh, you know, animate and like, excite corporates through a Zoom window yeah. or a team window is difficult. So yeah. it's just absolutely fantastic to be out and about and a real pleasure to spend some time with you. And um, welcome back to Global Business Travel. Thank you. Jason, thank you so much for your time, for sharing all your good news, and best wishes for a, a great convention here in Orlando, and we'll see you soon. Thank you, enjoy. I'm Monisa Klein here at GBTA Broadcast Studio. Stay tuned.